Hi guys, welcome to another Living Nessay TV video, David here. So guys, today we are going to show you the most amazing incubation hub right here in Bramfontein, what I would like to call it the Johannesburg Silicon Valley. And guys, here we have gaming studios, artificial intelligence training, uh, they produce also kids toys, uh, they have international partnerships with international universities that give our creatives the best training you can have guys we are producing here elite people that will lead our country forward in the near future again make sure you are going to their social medias and you're going to support you're going to buy from them because i want to see this place even going more forward and again guys thank you very much to all the companies that support this amazing incubation hub right here in Bramfontein, guys what can we say more again guys stay tuned Good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is Nelson Sohota, I'm a manager at TMG Makerspace. Uh, please come inside and see our work uh, here in Simolohong Precinct in Bramfonte. Oh, please follow me. We are uh, in the business of supporting makers and innovators. Uh, and we do that by offering a space, you know, for them to be able to work. Uh, they come into our space, they get access to a co-working space where they uh, get to run their businesses. Uh, there's a very strong community that they get to be access, you know, that they get to access, uh, a very strong community that they get to be co collaborating with. Uh, but also we offer them machinery, you know, for them to be able to build their products. You know, as you can see, uh, we do have a few machines, you know, in this place. Uh, we've got a few 3D printers, uh, we've got a laser cutter, you know, we've got uh, CNC machines, you know, that we use uh, for guys to be able to make their products, you know, products that are uh, turned into a, a business. So we end the work of building, you know, uh, innovators, but also getting them building uh, businesses. This is our our co-working space. Uh, the guys come and they, they run their businesses from the side. Uh, so we do have a few innovators today uh, and I'll be very keen you know, to be hearing from them. Uh, for you. Hello, my name is Ntati Machisa and I am the founder of Noah Zentle. What we do at Noah Zentle, we're trying to archive art, art through history and uh, here I have the Royal Heritage chess set which is inspired by the Nfetkani Wars. Um, here I'm trying to tell the story and try to archive certain things about the African child, African spirituality, and uh, the kings and queens of the past, even the Sangomas. So you can find me at www.neotsentle.com. That is neotsentle.com. All right, so I am actually a 3D modeling artist. I'm a concept artist, and this is where it started. So with the art, this is then how it looks in Blender um with the modeling this is the modeling that i did before we got to the 3d printing it was quite detailed and this is how then you would see everything that i did with the modeling let me just call this so yes every little mesh that you see there i did so this is a resin printer and what i use my resin printer for is to print my chest sets um, we have another detail piece here that uses the resin print so if you're looking for quality if you're looking for stuff that um if you like if you're looking for prints that are high resolution then you would use resin um, and it comes as a liquid and then what it does is that it uses uv lights to start building the product into a 3d but it starts off as liquid and probably later we'll start seeing how it forms and we're going to see just a bit i'm just going to pour in a bit here how long does this process work because now the chest pieces that I'm going to be printing, they take about six hours. It's going to take, yeah, six hours to just put everything together. Is then the pr final product. This is the final product of a resin printed item sure. after it's been cured and after it's been painted. All right. So uh, my name is Tony Pani Dube. Um, uh, we, I'm part of a startup called Blue Machines. We do software build software products, mobile web apps. We specialize in uh, AI-enabled software products. 
So we built uh, mobile and software and, and web apps before uh, for a JP Morgan program here called JP Morgan Yabasadi. Uh, so various types of projects. We also do training. Uh, we activate AI in companies, train in cloud, and we consult, we advise. So cloud migration, how to adopt AI, which, which is the best way, which best AI solutions for what type, of, what type of problems. So any automation. So the products that we have right now are document understanding, summarizing products, uh, pro documents. Uh, if you are an auditor or you are an accounting firm or a law firm, uh, you tell us how you want to get your information out of your product, how you want to summarize them, how you want to format them, all of that, that's what we do. Hi guys, uh, Mr. Robert here, and uh, I believe uh, most of you guys know me, and yeah, now I'm, you know, uh, joined, you know, a beautiful community here in Bramfontein at Vets Terminal Precinct, and yeah, you know, what I'm specializing on, you know, is still robotics. But now I am, you know, introduced to, you know, uh, this beautiful uh, technology, which is 3D printing, laser cutting. And now I'm able to, you know, even help other entrepreneurs to develop their prototypes. So guys, uh, you know, my company now, I'm focusing more on, you know, STEM robots. And what I'm doing is, you know, I'm building these robots for education, you know, uh, to teach kids, you know, about, you know, different working mechanisms that, you know, you find in the, you know, uh, the field of, you know, uh, the industry, like where they're building robots, where they're making cars. So uh, what I do is, you know, uh, I break down, you know, uh, you know, uh, complex mechanisms, you know, uh, in a simpler way, you know, to in a simple way to give, you know, kids, you know, uh, you know, uh, this uh, easy, you know, assemble or, you know, of a diff, like, you know, this is like a diff that you find in a car and it works the same, you know, as a diff of, you know, a, a, a car that you see, you know, out there. And then also an engine, you know, uh, this is an engine, so it works so as well. So, you know, we give them the chance to understand, you know, the basic mechanism of, you know, how the piston, you know, travels inside the cylinder of, you know, of an engine, you know, how to convert that linear motion into a rotary motion. How does the crankshaft actually work? Okay, and also a gearbox, you know, because we believe that, you know, any motion that you do, you know, in this world, you know, of robotics, you need to understand, you know, uh, how the, you know, uh, the gears are, uh, are meshing, how, how the gears are connected. So we give them the chance in a way that, you know, it's easy for them to understand, you know, the basics of any gearbox, like an actual gearbox of a car, how, you know, uh, that uh, uh, the lever, you know, is uh, selected to, you know, uh, move the gears to match together. Okay, and also uh, the robotics itself, as you see here, I have, you know, uh, my new product here, which is uh, Makutu Bot. So I made, uh, I named this robot after my surname. So it's Makutu Bot and it works. So you can actually, you know, uh, program this. So it uses Arduino Uno, which is, you know, like a like a brain, you know, like a small computer that you are able to, you know, uh, send, you know, the code or, you know, uh, yeah, the programming inside it. And then it can actually perform any task depending on what is it that you want to achieve. But yeah, it works the same as, you know, uh, the robots that you find, you know, uh, in the industry, like, you know, the robots that you, they, they, the robots that they use to build cars. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, here, you know, uh, it's also, you know, just a simple basic mechanism on how to, you know, uh, rotate, you know, uh, let's say uh, maybe you have like uh, the wheels that are, you know, uh, actually uh, connected, but they're not properly aligned. So we call this like a universal joint. So you find this kind of mechanics uh, in a car, you know, uh, how the engine is, you know, uh, connected to the, you know, rail wheels. So these are the, you know, uh, basic mechanisms that comes as a puzzle, that comes as a kit. So, you know, it's easier for kids to be able to understand, you know, how the mechanism in a car actually works. Everything we do it here in house, yes. Okay. Yeah. And how can people find you? So, you know, uh, the people can find us, you know, uh, on YouTube, Mr. Rob, the inventor, and also on our website, it's, you know, at um, porobotics.co.za. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tise Tsumputi and I am an artist. So I, my art is inspired by the Vasotho art style called the Dema. So the Dema was practiced by uh, the Vasotho women as a way of celebrating 
uh, the people and uh, but also telling their stories in in their communities uh, let's say there is an event in the community in the community they would uh, in tr talk about it or they will paint their houses outside just to show that so my art what I did was I redefined it in such a way that all the symbols actually tell a, a particular story so each of the symbols over here actually represent something so you will see the rain symbol there so it's talking about rain in the african context uh, uh, talking about um you know uh a be like a new beginning <laughs> oh yeah so basically all the symbols over there and then also the number the number of the numbers uh play an important role in the in the art so three represents uh, the holy trinity or in in spirituality so that's what i do and then you can find me or uh, on instagram this is a t-i-i-s-e-t-s-o-m-p-h-u-t-h-i yeah so one of the projects that we've worked on is on robotics so we built this robotic arm for a client who wanted to uh, build capacity in their manuf uh, in their manufacturing plant to actually sort rubbish. So the the robotic arm over here is equipped with a camera and the Raspberry Pi for machine learning. It is able to recognize different materials such as plastic, metal, and also paper. Hi, my name is Tepiso. I'm from Oak Design. Uh, so Oak Design, what we're doing is we are a 3D design company uh, dealing with computer-aided softwares. Uh, what we do is manufacturing, designing, uh, doing products in interior design and also products in educational programs because we have part of STEAM in our company where we do STEAM workshops. Uh, some of the products that we have at, at Oak Design is an African map. Um, puzzle where we teach kids about uh, the african map inside geographically what's inside africa so what you can actually do is the, the puzzle you can actually take out everything that is in here uh, you can a bit of this disassemble it and then put it back madagascar uh can take out back this tanzania so actually what we're doing here is to teach kids about africa the countries inside africa What's going on inside Afri Africa, like particularly at the moment, we have a war happening in Congo. Uh, we educate kids about that. We educate kids about the languages we find in Africa. We know in East Africa, there's a language called Swahili. In North Africa, the religions that is uh, related there for the people in Africa. So this is just trying to, kiss, to show kids that Africa is one and we're all together. We just divided the borders. Thank you. Good day. How are you? My name is Mlam Lady. I'm a tech designer, tech entrepreneur, a tech designer, and, a, and, and an educator in technology. So what you see right here is a bionic hand, which I manufactured using a 3D printer. So this bionic hand uses motors to control the hand so that you can able to grab something, right? So if someone is disabled, doesn't have a hand, they can always 3D print a hand for themselves using a 3D, 3D printing machine. So that's what my company focuses on and also focusing on other innovation. Right. So what, as, as, a, as a guy that grew up in Africa, I love Africa, I admire African art and African technology, so I combine both of them. So what, what I have here right now, as you can see, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So this Bluetooth speaker, speaker is shaped like a color bash. You can play your music. As you know, the, the color bash is, a, is an African heritage uh, aesthetic that comes a long way back in those days for my ancestors, for my parents, they use it for for, for, for water, for food. So I have decided to manufacture a speaker out of it. So as an educator, I teach technology, I teach robotics, I teach electronics, I teach IoT to the youngsters so that they can also learn to innovate ideas for themselves. And over here what you see is one of my avatars that I've manufactured for entertainment. So if you're in the inter entertainment industry, you can always uh, call me and let me know if I can design a mask for you that you can always use when you, when you perform or you just want to look different in the crowd. And um, one of my things that I'm also looking forward to this year is my rocket. So I'm also looking at my rocket over here for education and for also research for the youngsters to learn how to design rockets for themselves. So these are science, science experiments, I like, to call, uh, I like to call it a rocket science. So uh, yeah, 
uh, I'm seeing a bit of a long way to go there, but uh, step by step, we are just using recycled materials to manufacture rocket. Hi everyone, my name is Ipi Makuya and I'm the founder of Keki and Kekana Kiddies. We are a green kids educational toys manufacturing company and we also manufacture kids functional furniture. As you can see here, this is our table and chair set um, that is suitable for the ages of two to seven years. And this side you can see that we've got an African map and different puzzles. All the toys that we design, they have specific uh, targeted skills that we want to teach the little children. So the puzzles, they help with fine motor skills together with the threading that helps with the small muscle development. So anything that we make in our company, we make sure that we targeted certain skills that we want to make sure that we teach the kids at a very young age. As you know that from the ages of zero to six, that's the developmental stages where in kids are best to be taught it. Okay, so to create uh, these products, we are currently using uh, latest technology. As you can see the side, we are using uh, a CNC machine. So the way we use this CNC machine, we have to use CAD programs. So we design our programs on computer on CAD, then we come and cut them here. Um, this is where we cut all different types of wood uh, from the CNC. As you can see, currently we are busy with the indoor slide for the kids. So this is going to be a fun and exciting slide where in kids will be uh, climbing and sliding inside the house. So we also make use of this um, of this uh, technology here which is a laser cutter similar uh, similar way of operations we use the CAD as well to design and then come and cut it here on the laser machine so currently I'm employing three two um, two uh, permanent staff and then three um, three uh, casual staff so you can find us on Keki and Kekana Kiddies, that is on Facebook and also on WhatsApp. Our number is 066-070-1018. Let me repeat, 066-070-1018. Keki and Kekana Kiddies, thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Lebudi Khojani. So I'm the community and engagement manager at Simulokhong. I've been working here for the first, past five years. And uh, so basically Tsumulukhong is an incubation hub for tech entrepreneurs, uh, but also it stands on three legs of which we have a, a software development uh, academy where we, where, where we take in software, where we take in guys who have graduated and give them work readiness experience. We also, through, through our training program, we also have uh, an animation studio, which I will take you through. We also have a gaming studio where we also take in uh, guys who are in animation and entrepreneurs who are in animation, or guys who really want to further their skills and get into the market. So we give them like a job readiness type of thing and get them to market because animation is quite a new, uh, it's a new, it's a new, it's a new in South Africa, it's a new industry of which there's not much access and that's what we help them with. And also with our tech entrepreneurs, we have quite a lot of entrepreneurs and we run quite different programs from ideation to pre-startup and also acceleration. So all these programs run uh, differently according to the entrepreneurs that we engage with. We also have quite a lot of uh, entrepreneurs that are building exciting stuff for the city, assisting them for with quite a lot of stuff. I mean, like uh, the city where we work with the city with uh, something called the smart city innovation of which with that what we do we create an innovation challenge where entrepreneurs come through and then they submit their their ideas and see how we can have smart city solutions there's also one called the irish tech it's an acceleration program where we take acceleration entrepreneurs that are coming through that are uh, post revenue and that are ready to take their business to different markets and now the Irish Tech basically just focuses on that and of which what we do is that we give them exposure to the to the Irish and the European market as well but also they go through an intense program where they are developed or where they are assisted with mentorship and coaching and also some finances in their business as well so that they can grow but uh, all in all what we are about is is, is, is innovation and creating ideas that are going to 
to be sustainable and help us with all the problems that we face in the country, social, social programs, of which one would be unemployment, as we know, as we know that unemployment is quite a... It's quite, a, it's quite a big thing in the country. So I think it's very important that uh, incubation hubs like this exist so that we can also help facilitate innovation and be able to produce and develop more entrepreneurs. But let me take, take you through to, the, to, 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 to our precinct so that you can see what we get up to. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, how's it, man? Cool. So over here we we do have a workshop over here. Uh, it's a digital training workshop as well. That's coming from with the University of Lobo from the UK. We are in partnership with them. Uh, this is our founder square. We call this the founder square, of which the founder square was basically our founder Prof Barry Dwalski. It's called uh, the Barry Dwalski Square of which this is where all our partners, the guys who put in the Siras monies, uh, they are placed. Uh, and these are the guys that help us run these programs. These are the guys that really help us run and maintain the space as well. 100%. So, I'm just getting inside. Hey, everyone. Mam Zodwa. We're fine. All right. Yeah. So this is our space and this is our reception. Uh, this is Bob Kohli, our facilitation manager. This is Budmandra. This is Budmandra and then this is also uh, Comrade Korombi. He calls himself Comrade Korombi. He's the IT guy here. We also have uh, our, our, our coffee shop over here. I mean like everyone can just come in. This is also open to, to, to public. People can come in and come grab coffee as well. And while they're also fascinated by the stuff that's happening here. We also host quite a lot of events, tech events, uh, meetups and uh, seminars and those type of stuff just to encourage the ecosystem to still strive in this environment. And then if we go over here, I think we should start that side. All right. Hi. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, so basically the CXI, uh, Center of Transformation and Innovation. So this is basically, this is basically where, this is also, a, a, uh, this is where we, we, we've partnered with CXI, where we have quite a lot of uh, data analytics students that are coming through, they get training and get also access to the market as well. All right. <laughs> hey? You take the lead. Yes, I'll take the lead. I'll take the lead. <laughs> so this part here, we call it the deck. So sometimes what we do over here by the deck is basically we run quite a lot of... Uh, during summer, it's nice where entrepreneurs can come here. We have socials, we have meetups. So it, 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 it's very nice because I think what's important as well with running entrepreneurial incubation hubs is also creating an environment where entrepreneurs can also feel like they are human and not necessarily feel like they are constantly working because it gets tiring. There's not a lot of people that understand them. I mean, like they're not necessarily like uh, in corporate or professionals, but they're in an innovation space. So we need to create an stimulation a stimulated place for them to also feel like they belong somewhere so this is why we run such programs as well all right and over here this is basically our yeah we call it the Huawei lab uh, the Fagugesi team works in here quite a lot this is Eduardo Who's all saying here? Yeah. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm alright, I'm alright. Cool. So basically, this is, this is, this is where staff is at. Uh, that's Edson, that's our marketing intern. He's also here. So, yeah, so... We are all in here, so these are the different offices as well. Uh, 
This is our kitchen for stuff as well. Yeah. Right, right. It also has that uh, old feel, you know. Uh, and then here, so we are neighbors with IBM. Uh, so IBM is on this side and we are this side. So I think it makes sense because this is an innovation center. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And in here, this is what we call the tall room, right? So we used to use this place for like uh, gaming, right? When we watch football, you see, we watch football as well. And like, there's quite a lot of things that happen uh, where we just relax and have popcorn night with the entrepreneurs and just chill. And then there's this side as well. Eta, how's it? How's it? Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure. So this is, we call this the glass room, right? So we also use it for workshops quite a lot. Uh, and then over here, this is our small, it's, it's, it's our small box. We, we can have like a lot of podcasts in here as well. So that we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which is great so that we can just generate some content around entrepreneurship. It's always nice to hear entrepreneurship from entrepreneurs and content driven by entrepreneurs as well. Because in as much as these guys work, we need to make them superstars as well, you know? And then this part basically, this is what we call the eye club. So this is what we call the eye club. Uh, yeah, so we basically work in here as well. You can meet Tali over there. Hey Tali. Cool. And then, yeah, but you'll see that other part as well, that other side. So here, we, this is where we have like our meetups with our entrepreneurs. This is where we, yeah, we have like all social gatherings and everything else that has to do with uh, our entrepreneurs, right? So yeah, this is the cool space. This is the cool, cool place, yeah. Yeah, and then this is one of our boat rooms. Jumela. Hello. guy. Good day. All right. So this is one of our boardrooms. Uh, so this is also a co-working space where all our entrepreneurs work from. Uh, this is our incubation manager. There. He's coming with the Sierra space. So yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, that's one of our entrepreneurs, Stanley, over there. <laughs> hey, Stan. Come on, man, smile at the... <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, let me just show you around in here. Oh, nice. So this is our gaming hub, right? This is our gaming hub. Uh, so our gaming hub, basically what happens every year, we incubate like uh, different types of companies that can, gaming studios that can start working on their games and take them to market. So we help them with business development most importantly as well, because that's what we're trying to. So this is basically the, the gaming studios. These are the guys that are working. Uh, maybe we can just ask one later. How's it, man? Sorry for intruding. 
Uh, do you maybe want to talk about what you are building? Cool. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Ta. Cool. <laughs> yeah. No, we're just shooting like a small angana thing, you know? Small angana thing. Hey? Sorry? Uh, it's for the present. Um, so, hello, hi, my name is Sakumu Um I'm a game designer here at The Fine Print. We're making a alien Zulu game, technically, with it's, it's a shooter, basically. Yeah, it's a top-down shooter uh, for mobile games. And over there, we have our rival studio, Third Eye Games, and they're making a PC game. So yeah, uh, our business is the, the game development side, so we're worried about how the game functions, how it looks, and if people like it or not. My name is Uli Olombata. I'm the co-founder of Third Eye Games. Um, currently, we are working on a game called Connection Perfection. Uh, that's a, that's a, a, a precautionary name for now. It's not a finalized um, uh, name for the game. But basically, what Connection Perfection is, is uh, this is one of the characters connection perfection what it is is um, a couch co-op game where you use shared resources to solve puzzles um, this is some of the concept arts that we have okay now this is our portfolio but this is uh, some of the concept arts that we have for the characters this is the 3d models uh, they're rigged as well uh, so we're knee deep into production uh, but yeah that's where we are now uh, that's what we're working on Connection perfection. That looks like a mix of, of a bat and the, and the Egyptian god Anubis. Yes, yes, I am actually going for uh, the look of Anubis. Yeah, if I let me find the, the reference. Sure, that is great. Yo, look at this. We're doing this in Bramfontein, guys. This is mind blowing. Yo, I'm so proud to see you guys. You know what I mean? Hi, my name is David Tonyani, and I'm with Redefine Print. I'm a 3D developer for them, so I make oh. environments, props, guns, characters. Well, I'm kind of delving yeah. into characters now, but uh, this is the short kind of work done for the game. Oh, sorry, this is just my uh, epic account. I'm trying to get into Apex Legends so that we can play together um, after work. But like, yeah, that's just uh, me. So yeah, this is, uh, this is basically our co-working space. Uh, this is where all the entrepreneurs sit and do what they do right uh, so yeah i'm on there does go this is our boardrooms i think it's locked yeah and we have monday over there we have dazuko dazooks Hi, I'm Shukri. Um, I with a, on a company called with Nova uh, AI. Dot AI. Uh, we are a digital marketing agency. We work with uh, a lot of uh, small businesses, um, and our reason why we at this in the place is the precinct is really interesting as an ecosystem for us to build up, um, uh, you know, our own technology as well as collaborate. Uh, this here is um, the rest of our team that we have. Um, let me start with Tapelo. Tapelo is our creative director in the agency. Uh, he looks after all of the, uh, uh, the, you know, all the creative to make sure that we break through any uh, communication barriers. We've got Amu here who is a graphic designer. Sibulele heads up our business development and sales. Right next to him is Tanya who looks after our administration and projects. And um, Tasmia also looks after our uh, projects and, uh, and, and is also in graphic design. So the team is really focused on making sure our clients really thrive. So we're going back to Nelson, to the maker space. Yeah, we, let's go. Are you happy? Yep. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Right? All right. Have you been this side? No. Yeah, we've been here. Uh, Mr. Nelson. All right. Thank, thank you so much for coming on a tour of our space. Uh, I hope you have managed to see how our 
uh, our makers are innovating and really solving some of the problems we have in Africa. I hope you got to see some of the products they are making and some of the businesses they are building. Uh, we really uh, appreciate you for the support. And there you go guys, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, we had a blast uh, seeing this, uh, we love to see this type of initiatives and our beautiful journeys but and also to give you guys a deeper insight into things, I hope you guys share, subscribe and destroy that like button, we'll see you in the next Living SCTV video.